All right, finally. What have we got for classes for you? And so. What? What? Okay, you're going priestess. The character design on her? Yeah, I could see the yikes on that. Huh. That is a little too little coverage. Oh no. Do we go full service slash dis- Oh, no. of course there's a summer- Of course there's a summer variant of Who something that's stripper- Of someone that's stripperific. Try to switch your class. Because we gotta service everything. Also, specifically for you, Dineto. I wonder which one you will pick. Knowing that there is, knowing that the hat has to exist no matter what, I wonder which one you would pick. Hmm. Maybe the one without the puffball on the top. <laughs> now it's just turban. He has been freed of the poop. Da Vinci is trans. Hmm. Try to switch your class. I see. Oh, you want to wait? That's okay. We know the obvious reason why Da Vinci did that. Try to switch your class. We know the obvious jokes to make about that, and apparently they went for it. Welcome to the wonderful world of Yuri, Dimenshi. That's all I'll say. Sure, go ahead. Toss it to me. And meanwhile... What types of things do you get? What? That's kind of trash. <laughs> like, that's actually trash. And on Kevin's side, he needs the attack power. Lastly, Reese. Man, I just have everyone going into the buffs today, huh? Okay then. Kevin needs everything to increase his attack power. So let's see, I remember having Judge, so he should probably get that if he can. And even if he can't, Beast Roar is going to be really useful. There's Judge. And... Worst case, I could go conflagration. Hmm. That's not a bad character design, actually. Maybe toxic two temporarily, and something to improve her stat down stops. If I have it. Actually, move MP saver might not be a bad decision. I just came from around pops instead of D pops. You. You don't really matter. Wow, I didn't even notice the like tattoo. Holy crap. That snuck by the radar. That's actually a really nice detail. <laughs> Alright, let's see how well this attempt is going to go. One and two. We have to hurry and save Sofen. Okie dokie. 
slightly better damage. Unfortunately, damage resistance numbers ain't gonna change. Why did I think that was an interesting? You know what? Reload. This was a wash. This is a wash. This is, was a terrible run. We are aborting this timeline. All right. Attempt number five. I think it's five. That's some pretty beefy numbers. Those are some really beefy numbers. Wait, she has holy ball? Oh yes, we finally have offense. Mind you, it's weenie, but it's something. This is much better. Like I said, you're meant to class up before you fight Recipity. Seriously? Kevin, up, please. Thanks. You know what? I want to see how, what this is. <laughs> what attack is this? What attack is that? What? Did she intercept the grip? Oh, great. Is this it? I think she actually intercepted the grip. That's amazing. Allow me. Of course. Mind, just because it was a better attempt doesn't mean it's great. I might still be able to pull this. It's just gonna be a harder game. The wind. Or not. It's... I could definitely do this. It's just gonna be a matter of making sure to apply buffs, apply debuffs. And above all else, I don't think I like buff Reese. I figured I'd at least, like, try to use it this run, but it just isn't... This isn't jamming well with me. And besides that, Reese does better, period, as a debuffer. There is no bias. There is absolutely no bias. And it's not because I like Fenrir Knight. Reese is actually just better as a debuffer. I'm still not... Actually, no way, I did get my stat points back. Oh, I got my stat points back. I can use this. In that case, let's abuse this. And fish Who is armor. <laughs> A bit, yeah. Try to switch your class. And you're going to shame me for this. Don't worry, it's only going to be a temporary one. I am going to have to reset Kevin. Specifically. So I can recalibrate his uh, stat points. Because I feel like him having pressure point is just going to be a really useful thing. And if he can have it soon, all the better. Many benefits to being a marine biologist. Yeah, actually. Looks like you need more experience before you can among switch other classes. Thi among other things, that, those being the obvious. Classes. If you happen to like art, then there are quite a few different designs you can get into class. for... Not just, like, clothing slash armor, but also characters. Because there's some very interesting types of marine life. At that, if I remember correctly, 
it's pretty much common knowledge what's above us, but there are entire biomes that we can't reach below, that we uh, can't reach within the water, specifically because of all the water pressure and everything else that we had, we'd have to deal with. Entire species, completely unknown Who on this Who is switching planet. classes? Underneath the water. Hell, only now we're actually able to look at even a couple of them. Because we've actually gone in and developed the appropriate technology to do that. There we go. Actually, technically you don't need break armor. This guy, this, uh, Precipity doesn't use armor. So, probably Conflagration, Beast Roar. And I need something else offensive. Technically, Toxic 2 would be a decent decision, because... Sure, actually, I think it isn't immune to poison. One and two, even if it is, the simple fact that I can have a chance at debuffing it when I'm attacking is a good thing. You need... You know what, let's make sure you just don't die. And super stat down. Gotta go save, just to bank these. I wish there was a way of measuring the time of day in the game. You kind of just have to eyeball it to some respect. I think it's still night. So that means if I get into the battle, then I should be fine. Time of day won't change if you're if you're like within a battle. If you finished it, sure, but if I start the battle at night and it goes into the day, it still counts as night. Okay. Shit. Bad. 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 Is this it? Favorite Pokemon? Uh... I have a few different favorite Pokemons, actually. Omantis is one of them. Across the board, I happen to be a fan of grass types. I, uh, I'm well aware grass types are kind of pants. I can't help it, okay? Some of the better Pokemon designs have been grass types. Either because of memes like Zekithor, or just generally. Like, across the board, I was absolutely floored by Pokemon's I'm also surprised that it isn't a bug type. You'd think it would be for a Pokemon that's based off of a praying mantis. But as it turns out. Perfect. Skullopee's a pretty good one, too. My sister. This is what my sister's favorite Pokemon was. <laughs> she was a lot more into the uh, competitive meta Pokemon than I was. So she got to play around with a lot of different Pokemon and read a lot of powerful Pokemon too. She came up with a. Uh, she ended up running some pretty powerful ones. Bug Horse. <laughs> Yeah, you're not wrong. Skullpeed is kind of like force in it. Actually, come to think of it, I'm surprised that Skullpeed taxi. I would totally ride a Skullpeed taxi. It's because of all the rolling around that it's Yeah, you're not wrong on that one. And besides that, maybe it's also me on that one, but... I hate Charizard. 
<laughs> Call me a cancerous individual, but I hate Charizard. And I really don't see the appeal in Fire Type either. Again, it could just be me and the simple fact that I love nature and nature based Pokemon. And grass types. But I never got the appeal with Charmander, that line. And I find it frankly annoying that so many of the fire element starters are hybrid firefighting. Sophid, are you alright? Like, in my mind, it completely ruins the viability of them, and I really don't care for it. Meanwhile, the water types are fairly standard, fairly good across the board. Grass types are really fun and interesting. There are some really good ones. One moment he was looking at the mana stone, and the next, he was after me! He drained my energy and summoned Hersephone! Was after the mana stone. Really? So what tells you? We need your help. What do you think? I see. Well, you all saved my life. I'll stick with you until the bitter end. And attained power from Jin. Yes, I'm aware the spirit is called Sylphid, but originally, its name was Jin, hence its appearance. Finally, we can reclaim my home from those invaders. Thank you all so much for your aid. As Dom Perry suggested, Localization we must utilize teams. the Somnosas in the meadow. you get to saber spells the better Kevin can just blow attack power for a little bit and you yeah stat down MP saber would be good and... oh, take down the enemy but yeah like I'll accept being a cancerous individual when I say I don't really care for Charizard at all in terms of a design decision, in terms in terms of its design, in terms of its usability, I don't really care for Charizard, and it's for similar and it's for partially similar reasons that I don't really care for Pikachu either. But then again, I'm also weird in terms of Pokemon. Period. Like, I swear the side games are better than the core games almost across the board. It says a lot that I would rather play Pokemon Ranger over something like X and Y, Sun and Moon. Maybe part of it is the simple reason that some of the side games end up using much harsher so plots than what the main ones do. Because I swear the main ones have just devolved, all devolved into, oh hey, the war, oh hey, you must become a Pokemon master! Oh, and just stop an evil team, a cartoonish evil team along the way. That <laughs> no, just... When the story focuses a little more on the dastardly team actually being dastardly and less about personal fame, it's a better plot. Yeah, that's actually why I like Unima! I'll make an exception on- I'll make an exception for Unova, specifically because N and the entirety of Team Plasma, they were amazing. They were absolutely amazing with that plotline. And I wish the other- the other Pokemon plotlines were able to you hit that level. Did you have a chance because to speak with Dom Because, in some respect, yep. Team Plasma wasn't Just wrong. They're the closest that Pokemon has ever come to Hello, morally nice gray. To see you. 
And that's a good thing. Leave this to me. Because then it calls into question, j okay, just because people can borrow the power of Pokemon, does it mean that they themselves are good people? They can be, but can be misguided too. I'm holding out on Legends of Ar on Legends Arceus. I am hoping that they can do a good storyline with it, but let's face it, they probably won't. It is refreshing seeing it all, and seeing how they're tweaking the battle system in that game. Hell, like, uh... If it does well enough, if it seems to be, if it seems to look good enough, no then I might actually Please try to save up for careful. a proper switch there so I can play enemies it. In the Citadel that did not to we'll see. Force. Help yourself to the yeah, you the actually do there kind of play as a wishes. proper Pokemon researcher and not someone who is just given the Pokedex no for X or Y reasons. My father will not have died in vain. I will take back this kingdom! Your... Like, your efforts actually feel like they fucking matter. Oh no, I just realized what part of the game this is. <laughs> oh, why? I just realized what part of the game this is. That part, isn't it? Maybe I'll be fine. We can take this enemy in no time. I hope I'll be fine. One down. Stay here. Rich. Evil sword. No need to trouble yourself. Uh, not run. If I could figure out a way to, like, properly record Pokemon Call, that would totally be a good one. Because I love Pokemon Call. I like its world, I like its plotline, I like its characters. Just I'm really disappointed uh -oh. that we only got really two Pokemon Coliseum games. Like, I get it in many respects. Pokemon Coliseum was kind of just its, po its generations. Pokemon Stadium, and it happened to do well, so Game Freak decided, hey, let's take another stab at it. Double dip, so to speak. I cannot but they never the revisited it, and it's so disappointing. Because, like... I cannot forgive Navarro for this atrocity! <laughs> the game actually felt like it had the game felt like kingdom. it was being a legitimate challenge. Here to help, Reeks. Gonna be okay. And sure, part of that quote-unquote challenge was specifically them oh, being all go. like, "Hey, let's uh, drastically cut down on the amount of money that they're spending." One down. But in tandem with that, the battles were also harder. They had you paying attention to more details, and especially so when it came down to. Uh, Shadow Pokemon, too. Like, the Shadow Pokemon were hit really, really well. Who are you? A Navarro agent? You will pay for what you did to my father! Well, this is new. Wait, it's not what you think. <laughs> I'm Hawkeye, and yes, I used to be a Navarro thief. 
but not anymore. <laughs> I'm on the run. This is the fault of a horrible usurper named Isabella. She twisted the minds of the Navarlan forces and attacked Laurent. I'm here to stop them. Please, believe me. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what Isabella's true motives might be. But I can tell you one thing. A real Navarlan thief would never, ever take a life. I knew her as Isabella, but after some digging, I found out the witch's real name. She calls herself Belladonna now, ever since she killed my... my best friend, Eagle. And she didn't stop there. Belladonna gave a cursed item to Eagle's little sister, Jessica. If Belladonna dies, so will she. I couldn't do anything. So please, if you find Belladonna, don't kill her. Capture her instead. Uh, I know you don't owe me anything, but... Understood. I am the princess of Laurent, Reese. And though I dearly wish for justice for the death of my father, I will not allow an innocent girl to die in return. Problem is, they can't Thank exactly you, uh, seal it off. Oh, man. I can it's kiss you. sealed to her life force, essentially. <laughs> what the hell? <gasps> what the fuck? What have you done? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh-oh, I got carried away. Honestly, I'm sorry. How charismatic, I, uh, Hawkeye. I do not know if I can, but I will do my best to save your friend. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, I won't hold you good people back any longer. I'll go on ahead and see what I can do on my own. My thanks. Yeah, definitely suplex him. He's a little too... He tries to be a little too charming. Unfortunately, uh... When if I remember correctly, I... Hawkeye and Reese are... Yes. Finished. I am fine. We should move on. We cannot delay. Actually, on the subject of Nuzlocke... It is actually possible to Nuzlocke Pokemon Coliseum. It's highly non-recommended. Because holy hell does it make things difficult. Because at that point, your already tiny options for Pokemon, for viable Pokemon, it is get even tinier. Get in our way. Like, if I remember correctly, the original Pokemon Coliseum had about 40 or 50, so, uh, Shadow Pokemon. I think it had, like, 40 or 50, so Shadow Pokemon in it. Excluding the, uh, two starter Pokemon you had, which were Umbreon and Esper. Allow these horrible invaders to poison types, in the citadel. dude, dude, you're not wrong on that one. There are some disgusting poison types. Back when I used to play Sun and Moon and X and Y, um, there was this poison dragon that existed based around no the sea, based around seahorses. I loved that thing. It was so fun to use. Beefy too. We must continue to triumph. There are some really great poison types across the board, if you can look in the right place. Dragalge! That was it! Dragalge! If I remember correctly, Dragalge was the Pokemon. And I think it is a, uh, a poison dragon, which is a fairly rare typing. Skullipede's actually really good, too. If I remember correctly, fairly fast Pokemon. Decent damage too across the board. Speed boost makes it even better, yeah. Oh, 
Remember a specific poison type I used to use on the tank. This is my fight. No need to trouble yourself. <laughs> I remember several different Pokemon that were really good. But for whatever reason, it's just been a long time since I've touched Pokemon that I forgot. Sword dance, physical poison move. So probably cross poison, maybe? Or poison fang. And still be like poison fang? That one would be fairly good, all things considered. Hmm. Yeah, X Scissor would also be a good one, because if I remember correctly, it's dual class in Poison Slug, so that means it gets stab on that move. And on top of that, X Scissor just deals a really good amount of damage and fury. Also, really good at suppressing psychic heat. And I guess this is where I, uh, show my bipartisan rights. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm relegating myself to the trash can after a terrible pun like that. Let's see, list of Pokemon. Yeah, I did remember. Tregalgy is a poison dragon type. I'm actually surprised. Now I remember the uh, tank that I used. Toxapex. I used to be a disgusting bastard with Toxapex. Because, like, uh, I... One of my big issues ends up being that I focus a little too much on defense. So, imagine a Toxapex with Toxic Sludge... I believe it can get Spiky Shield, too. I might be mis misremembering on that one. Toxic was definitely one I put on it. Where can I see it? Huh, I can learn Bankful Bunker. Uh oh, that's a new move. Yeah, like, I used to use a defensive Toxic Pex with, like, Toxic Spikes. Actually, it was either Toxic Spikes or Toxic that I used. I think I used Venom Drench as well or something like that. I don't 100% remember. But it was kind of disgusting. Poison Jab is a really good move, period. Decent power. Is it decent power? The ability to tack on poison on top of that. If it's all poison type, that's stab, so it's effectively a one hundred power. Physical too, so if you have a physical attacker, all the better. If you've got a good set with it, then it is just and it's the 